What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Game Channel. My name's AJ Gales. How y'all doing? We are back with Just Cause 4. I uh, end up finding uh, another tomb. And I believe... I actually had to look this up because I could not freaking find the entrance to it. Basically, uh, you come up to like this big stone wall. And uh, I, I searched all around the area because, you know, Javi says, Oh yeah, there's a... There's a there's another entrance that you know the people used, and all this, but I couldn't freaking find it. So ended up uh, having to look this up, and I uh, kind of well hidden. You have to go out to the beach. It, it, to me, you kind of have to like leave the area to find the entrance. It's a little little overly confusing in my opinion, but I'm also dumb. So take that for what you will. <laughs> That, and that's the giant stone wall that I'm talking about. So... Tell her open this the door. This thought to belong to Otorongo's wisest advisor. They call him El Sabio. The Espinosa narrative would have us believe he was a monster sorcerer and a cultist. Let me guess. None of that is true. His name is lost, but the legends of his wisdom, compassion, and strength survived in some of the relics destroyed by Espinosa's archaeologists. Come on. Hole in one. El Sabio's vault yeah. is open. Let's see what secrets he has for us. Here. Uh, waves along the ocean shore. What a cryptic verse. Like this tomb hidden on the ocean shore. It's maddening. Think, Javi. I know you'll figure it out. Alright, well, we got one more tomb that I'll go hunt for over in... Yeah, this, uh, this province. So I'll go hunt for this tomb. Uh, the plan for this video... We're going to do some of this, uh, some stuff for Sargento. Uh, may, might do one or two of these, but uh, the big plan is basically just keep advancing the front line so we can get into um, this area and start this uh, this operation. Um, there, there's going to be a video here or there where I just do all these Sargento missions. Sargento? I, I, Sargento? I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce his name. In my soul that we are close. But something is yet missing. Yeah, there's there's one more tomb. All right. Well, I'll go hunt that thing down. This place. I'm ashamed to tell you, Rico, that in my youth, I was one of the researchers responsible for sanitizing this ruin. That's kind of a kind of a depressing thought, there, Javi. Okay. Where is the giant brain? Interesting. Right, first things first, we need to find the find the lever. Is that the Is that the head up there? Yeah, it is. Okay. Getting it over there is going to be kind of a pain. You said you had a part in sanitizing this place. Archaeologists and Solis are trained to reconstruct the truth. We were historical spin doctors, nothing more. This place was my first assignment, fresh from school. A park celebrating the false history. My eyes were opened here. Be glad they were opened at all. Every day, my friend. Ironically, Otorongo's fiercest general and ally, rumored to have killed hundreds of Spaniards, despite their superior weaponry and armor, is buried in this mockery of history. What was his name? Sadly, lost to Espinosa manipulation of the facts. I hope we can restore it somehow. I'm just running people over this giant boulder. 
On one hand, how about you get the hell out of the way? But on the other... I, I love how there's no punishment for killing civilians in this game. It, it just, it's just so odd to me. I mean, if Rico's, like, fighting for the the people of Saliz, shouldn't he, you know, have some sort of qualm about people getting in the way and all the civilians that I have accidentally killed? Or, like, that poor animal that I just ran over with a boulder? I think that's a boar. Where's the boulder? There it is. That's where I want it. We're gonna need more. There we go. Damn it, it keeps rolling away as mine. Go. Just trying to get this bastard up the hill. Stop screaming. It's probably, there's gotta be an easier way to move this thing. But, in all honesty, eh. Probably you, by fusing the balloon tether and the retractor. So close. Come on. Come on, lift. Courtyard. <laughs> and now all that's left is pull it onto the thing. All right. Bam. Also, but Javi. We struggled to solve this riddle in my youth. When it defeated us, we simply built this heinous park to hide it in plain sight. Hmm. Far in the east, in third among. Another broken line. No help. No help? Rico. In third. 
evidence that we will find Otorongo's burial ground. But where in the east? Rico. Rico. My friend. This is it. I figured it out. Arranged in the correct order. These lines. Far in the east. Interred among the forest mountains breaking waves along the ocean shore. My empire there lies dead and buried. Only five beds remain, awaiting the grim faces of my forebears. I know now. It is all so clear. Rico, I will meet you in Cuya. Together, we will open Otorongo's tomb. Okay. We'll go see what that is, but actually, let's take a look at our mods. Locomotion, change how airlifters, eh. I like hover. And, and Javi. I mean, a lot of these, I'm just unlocking them to unlock them. I really don't... Uh, I actually like just the base setting. All right, well, we'll head over to uh, Cuyo and open Adorango's tomb. Rico, the poem. It was brilliant. And I finally figured it out. So, you found the old man Otorongo's tomb? It's right here. Built on the ruins of Otorongo City. His tomb is buried below. What do we do now? There are five Umas here. Some were taken to museums... Some still stand in their original places, but they are here, and there are five locks in the park below. It is Otorongo's tomb. It must be. So I'm going to have to move all of these, son of a bitch. Couldn't make this easy, game. And make this easy. All right, let's start with this one—the one that I think will probably be the most annoying. Can you believe these people subjecting this priceless relic to such nonsense? Music's got a good beat. Start by lifting off the ground. Far in the east, interred among the forest mountains, breaking waves along the ocean shore. Where else could it be but this beautiful landscape, which the Alpa people called home? Not exactly what I wanted. I wanted to actually... Uh, connect a booster to it, but whatever works. All right, time to start using normal tethers and just pulling this thing through the streets. Come on. There you go. Good giant ball. All right, I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm going to cut out most of this and just show you the highlights of me putting these things in the in the locks cuz this is going to be a gigantic pain in the ass. A B 
big statue came out of the ground. Miraculous. My empire there lies dead and buried. Only five beds remain, awaiting the grim faces of my forebears. The seat of Otorongo's empire was here until the Espinosas began to erect their own city on top of it. And this is where he locked away his secrets, using the great Umas as his keys. Another statue. Yes. Yes. Look at this atrocity. The Espinosas and their hack archaeologists know no shame. For centuries, we've been told these giant heads were mere curiosities. People took selfies with them. And the poem was written in the language of the Espinosa conquistadors. Otorongo possessed such foresight. He knew that few or none of his descendants would speak the Quechua tongue. the significance of what surrounds them. It's a portrait of our time, see or no? This is remarkable. We're making history, Rico. Why are you out of breath? Lots of stairs. No elevator? One more to go. Can you imagine the great Alba city that was once here? It was surely the eighth wonder before Diego Espinosa tore it apart brick by brick. This is the last one. When the tomb is revealed, we should be ready. We may need to leave in a hurry. Come on. That's all of them. I'm coming. Listo. Let's go. Hurry. This is amazing, Rico. I am truly giddy. We have a Torongo sarcophagus. What treasures will we uncover inside? Something tells me you'll be more jazzed about it than me. <laughs> but the truth should excite all of us, Rico. Espinosa and his family, all terrible people. Generations of them, exposed for liars, thieves, and murderers. We cannot leave the tomb. I will call one of my men for extraction. Please, Rico. Bring us the vehicle that can haul the sarcophagus to safety. I don't think this will work, but it said bring something that has one... It has one passenger seat. Okay, I was about to say, isn't that the sarcophagus? This is, hell, we could probably kick that thing down the road. Make sure it's extra secure. Not a fan of this camera angle. What's the hell is it? Vehicle. 
All right. I hate this. All right. Okay. Never mind. I'm getting the hang of it again. Up here. One of my men is coming with a helicopter. leader of one of the most advanced cultures of the ancient world was not a king but a queen <laughs> a star chart constellations look at the detail a deed transferring ownership of Solis to the Spanish for two pounds of silver. What's that? You say journal, written in Spanish. That's uh, very interesting. The uh, oils on your skin. Hey, what about the oils on your skin? Dios mio. Otorongo's final days. It describes how her entire family was assassinated one by one by the Conquistador Diego. Espinosa de Malaga. This rewrites all of Solis' history. The indigenous peoples were not a warlike tribe of barbarians, but a highly scientific, progressive, and matriarchal society. <sighs> Gracias. Gracias. Gracias, Rico. Bueno. Ayúdame. We'll have to get this someplace safe. There's so much work to be done. There's so much left for you to teach me. It's my estad. Prospero Ballistica manufactures the latest advancements in high-tech weaponry. If we could get our hands on some of that gear, it could give us an edge in our fight against the Black Hand. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to do this strike mission and then start uh, moving the squads around. And I'm not sure what up here is going to require a strike mission. But basically, I'm just going to keep uh, moving north. I'll do this and probably just one more strike mission. If this video ends up being really short, I'm sorry. It's I've been sitting here for, at this moment, an hour doing this video. I'm not saying that to be all, oh, poor me, but no, it's just, I'm sitting here for like two hours to get a 40-minute video is just, it's a little much for me. But we can't get past the cannons guarding the perimeter. Put some pilots on standby. Once I take care of the cannons, send them in to extract the weapons. Listo. Those cannons are virtually indestructible, but you can power them down. We think the breakers that power the cannons are underneath the facility. Again, I feel like I, I feel like I've done this objective before. Oh, well, let's go down. I was, about, I was about to say, can we get like a flashlight or something? It's really freaking dark. Must be something pretty important behind there. I didn't want to 
waste a didn't want to waste a rocket. Achievements. Send in your troops. Troops on their way. The enemy forces are trying to commandeer a weapons shipment. Destroy it immediately. Swapucha. I'll hold them up for now. the uh, health of this thing doesn't drop that fast. Ah, oh, sweet. I'm at least getting some backup.
was wondering why I wasn't moving. Again, I'm really glad these... Oh god, that thing's actually dropping health pretty quickly. this helicopter. Those are at least one of my choppers. Say it. I kicked out their driver and I just knock him out. Oh, that's great. We've got the shipment. There's one more that we can grab. Just send another unit to extract the shipment. They're coming. I'm actually enjoying this. All right. First things first. Take out the guy with the. Flipping tank. I don't know why I said another. It's not like we've had any others right now. God damn it, snipers. There we go. Sniper taken care of. Hold out for another 10 seconds. Ha! We got this ship in lockdown. I don't think we can get anything else from this factory until it's secure. These weapons were one step closer to kicking the Black Hand's ass. Gracias, Rico. Get the hell out of here. Just save some for me, Sargento. All right, there we go. We move north. And, of course, we need another freaking fight for uh, another... I can't think what to call them region strikes. Jesus. There's a black ant training ground in that area. Campo Infierno. 
They're setting up a reconditioning program here. Poor Solinos who can't pay their debts to the Espinosas, forcibly indoctrinated into the Black Hand. We have to stop it, Rico. They're not gonna pop in with instructions. We're here. We could have something here. Campo Inferno. I'm seeing two re-education centers in the satellite imagery. Free the poor souls inside. You have even Oh, we're playing this game again, aren't we? They're standing by. Just get them to the helipads. Lift. There we go. <laughs> God, can you imagine wingsuiting like that and just skidding your stomach against the ground? Like, think, I'm a, think what that would, how much that would mess you up. Command here. Find that hostile. And let's go. And why do we need to go through a loading screen? No time for questions, people. Just make for the helipad. I'll cover you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, senor. If I get in a vehicle, will I hop in? Off we go. Get the fuck in. Nope, okay. I can, I don't get why that, why, uh, why big like four door Humvee just drives up and one dude gets out. Just seems like a waste of gas. See, you're gonna have one dude roll up on me. Fine, have him roll up in a, on a motorcycle. So much more sense. Good thing, I guess, that I knocked down the. Where do you think you're going, Ratones? <laughs> I like that I knocked down the bridge ahead of time. The warden is down. Keep moving. And where's his gun? Works. Oh, that's great.
No, I forgot I can now have the uh, the railgun airdrop to me. I'm not sure why she was stuck, but whatever. These people are ready to go home. There's one re-education center left, Rico. You know what to do. Target's last known position was on site. Stand by. There we go. What's going on? Is this another trick? No trick. And to fight your way out. Inside this box. Mm. Yeah, what is this? Oh, cool. Auto shotgun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me and this thing are going to have some fun. Someone talk. I'm just not sure where they are. Need some cover now. Thought I saw some. Thought I saw laser sight, but apparently I didn't. I'm just going nuts. I like the idea that ri that ricochet, it's how you can kind of bounce it around shields. And this thing's got such a nice cone of uh, cone of damage that you you can fire it from a eh, good. You fire it from about medium range. I think it'll still hit. And knock down the bridge ahead of time because I figured I'd need to. Here causing problems. Ah, there you are. Oh okay. god.
Why are you going up there? Go, go with your friends. Sorrento, they've reached the helipad. Evac's on its way, Rico. You know, one of them died because they... I, I, I don't know what the hell they were doing, but... These people won't be forced to join the Black Hand. Maybe they'll even join us. That's a good day's work in my book, see or no? There we go. We just move forward. We can't take that region just yet because of the region strike. Same with this one because of the region strike. But we can move up like that. Can't move in there yet. Okay, region strike there and region strike here so we can't take that one either all right guys well i think we're gonna call this one here i want to say as always thanks so much for watching facebook to the website minds.com links to all that stuff is down in the description below please remember to like comment if you're not already please subscribe to the channel and uh stay tuned for more next time i'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do next video we might do some side stuff uh, and then at the very end go rescue mira's uncle or try to rescue her uncle i don't know i haven't fully decided Either way, thank you for watching. My name's AJ Gels. This is the Game Channel. I'm out.